All right, welcome to this new video about NoSQL databases. To first start, what are databases in general, in case you don't already know? Databases are just a collection of information organized for easy access to manage them, update, insert new data, and perform all sorts of operations. We have special softwares that we use to access the data inside databases, and there are a bunch of types of databases. The traditional databases are relational databases. Relational databases are basically tables having rows and columns. They follow a certain schema, meaning the data has to be structured in the way the schema decided in order to be inserted into the database. They use SQL for queries, so if we ever want to retrieve data, we need to write um, syntactic SQL queries. They're based on the relational model, meaning the tables in the relational database have um, different relationships. So you can have a table for customers and then a table for branches, and then you'd have to connect the customer to the relative branch and so on. So the columns would have attributes about the data and the rows would contain the data itself. Some examples of relational databases are the MySQL database, as well as Microsoft uh, SQL Server, as well as Oracle, which was a pioneer in relational databases. So next up, uh, what is NoSQL? NoSQL is, is very new. It has recently emerged as not a replacement for relational databases, but a whole brand new idea. Uh, they're very different. NoSQL does not follow any schema. So the data is not structured. You can put any data you want in any format and you can mess around with it. Um, it's very flexible. If you ever decide that you want to change your data model halfway through your project, you can do that. And there are also distributed databases, meaning unlike relational databases where all the data is stored in the same place, data is distributed among different places. Why do we use NoSQL databases and why have they become so popular in the recent years? So they're very useful for storing different types of data, including unstructured. So data does not have to be sorted in rows and columns. They're very efficient and scalable, meaning you can store huge volumes of data. And despite it being rapidly changing, you can store it. And it's very cheap uh, with regards to the bulky and heavy relational databases. And you can, as we said before, easily change the data model. And it's very popular. So if you want to learn NoSQL databases, you can probably guarantee that you have a wide job market available for you. So what are the types of NoSQL databases? Because NoSQL can be divided into several types. Uh, the most popular uh, type of NoSQL is document type databases. Document type databases follow a specific document format. It could be JSON or binary JSON or XML. So some examples of it are MongoDB or CouchDB. Uh, they're similar to a key value store, except the value in this case is a compound data structure. It could be a document. It can go nested um, very deeply and it's very fast and very efficient. Another type is the basic key value store database. This is similar to no Oracle NoSQL, so not the Oracle relational database. This is a different product from Oracle. So keys are associated with values and values can be any object such as a text or an image or whatever you need. Another type of NoSQL are graph stores. So graph stores are basically nodes and they're linked with relationships or edges, you could say. Neo4j is a very popular example of that. We have, so here we have these nodes which are two different people and the links are is friend of or what they like or, and it, it, you could create all sorts of relationships between data. They have become very popular recently. White column stores are similar to are DBMSs, uh, which are relational databases, in the sense that you also need rows and columns, but the difference here is that column names do not have to be consistent, so even inside the same table. So rows can have different attributes that they fill in the information for. Facebook invented this uh, database called Cassandra, and that's what they use for their, for their own data, and it's a wide column store, uh, no SQL database. So which one of these should you learn in summary? The big answer to this is it depends. So depending on the type of data you have, if your data is very central 
on the links between people or between users or between different elements, then it's very important uh, that you go for a graph database. If Even if you think that your data is very structured, you might want to choose for a relational database, not even go towards NoSQL. If, if you want just uh, documents with different information and you want to store easily accessible data about each um, element or user, then you would go with a document database. So the big answer here is depends. Depends on what you need and what your application or software needs or what your business needs. And that's that would like studying every single type of NoSQL database would really help you in choosing what to go for. So thank you for watching. Please leave a comment if you have enjoyed this video and if you have any suggestions. So goodbye.